Today on Eagle Nation News, Kashida Kama is in studio to highlight last night's Lady Eagle volleyball game. Kashida Kama highlights the Tyler family's tragic story and how it has impacted their lives. How will this devastating event lead to a positive impact in the Prosper community? And finally, Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott arrived back in DFW from Cabo San Lucas. Will he sign a new contract with the Dallas Cowboys? Eagle Nation News starts right now. Good afternoon, Eagle Nation. Today is Wednesday, September 4th. I'm Jordan Ramsey. And I'm Madison Wells. <laughs> so, Jordan, did you happen to get a chance to go to the volleyball game last night? Unfortunately, I didn't. But thankfully, now we send it over to Kashada Kama with more to recap from last night's game. Last night, the Prosper Eagles took on Flower Mound Jaguars, the defending state champions. The first set started off with five unanswered points from Flower Mound and got competitive from there. The Jaguars, however, did end up taking the first set, 25-21. to 21. But when heading from the first set into the second set, there was a dramatic change from the Prosper Eagles. Key plays in that set were a block from Shaylee Shore, an ace from Ella Cheney, and multiple kills from Sammy Jacobs and Nikki Steinhanser. Flower Mound really reeled up in the end and fought back, and resulting with their win of the second set, 25-22. Finally, in the last set, the Eagles fought hard and had a comeback, but last night, Flower Mound proved to be the top dogs. They won the final set, 25-23. to The Eagles will take on Keller next Tuesday at 6.30. For game time, I'm Kashida Kama. Prosper. 127 military construction projects have just been suspended by the Pentagon in order to divert $3.6 billion to fund Trump's famed border wall. Many members of Congress are in outrage and claim that Congress alone has the authority to set spending. The Defense Department has used Trump's national emergency as justification for the diversion of funds and has refused to state which projects will be affected. Bruce Cray, a 75-year-old dementia patient, went missing last week on the 29th. He was last seen in the 13,000 block of Corte de Palace Drive in Little Elm, and his description fits him as a 6'2 male with gray hair. Little Elm first responders have been joined by local teams, including some from Prosper, in order to help find Cray. If you see him, please call 911 immediately. Now Grant Johnson is in studio with your Fast Forecast. Thanks guys, temperatures for the whole week will be in the high 90s with little to no wind. Today it will be sunny with a high around 96, which will be achieved at around 3 o'clock. As Cameron mentioned, the second home game against Keller Timber Creek is this Friday and temperatures are going to be very hot. This Friday's high is 98 degrees, so it's going to be very hot for the pre-game festivities, but it should cool down towards the middle of the game. Another event happening this weekend is the Prosper Community Picnic this Saturday. The high for Saturday is 99, so be sure to bring some water to stay hydrated. To continue with our Hurricane Dorian coverage, the storm is weakening and will be hitting Florida as a Category 2 storm this weekend. There's also another tropical storm of less intensity off the Gulf of Mexico that will be causing a lot of rain for cities like Brownsville and Corpus Christi. Well, that's all I have for you today. Back to you guys at the desk. Don't go anywhere because right after this, we find out why pop star Ariana Grande is attempting to sue millions of dollars from retail company Forever 21. We are open before and after school, during Eagle Time, and during all lunches. We offer chips, candy, drinks, and also spirit wear. Now we send it over to Casey Boston with your Talent Talk, brought to you by Corbridge Orthodontics. Pop star Ariana Grande is suing Forever 21 $10 million for supposedly trying to trick customers to believe the model was actually her on the social media post. The model seemed to have the same makeup, pose, and headband to trick people to believe it was Ariana endorsing their products. The caption on the post was even lyrics from Ariana's song, Seven Rings, that said, gee thanks, just bought it. Talk about being subtle. The singer also ended up suing Riley Rose, accusing them of misusing pictures from the music video of the same song. 
What's your opinion on this lawsuit? Let us know on our Twitter at Eagle Nation News. Be sure to tune in every day for more shocking news just like this. But for now, that's all that I have for you. Back to you guys at the desk. Out of the Darkness is an event meant to raise awareness for struggling teens. Now we send it over to Kashida Kama with more. Three years ago today, we lost our son Christian. August 26, 2016. The Tyler family lost their son Christian Tyler, who fell victim to suicide. It was a huge loss for the family, friends, and the community. He was in his first week of his junior year of high school, and um, it had been a pretty long week for him. There's never just one factor with suicide. Lots of things combine um, to cause someone to want to take their life, and that's what happened with Christian. After the Tyler family lost their son, Wendy Tyler went straight into work to find a way to heal. With that, she found the Out of Darkness Walk. So every year, hundreds of thousands of people all across the world, actually, I believe they have them in other countries as well, um, come together and they walk for those that they have lost to suicide. They walk for that healing and comfort that comes. That's why we walk. But the other part of it is because the funds that are raised from walking, they are used for new research, find out why so many so many people are taking their lives, so many young people. It's the second leading cause of death here in Texas. With the support of her friends and family, she was able to bring it here to prosper and share her story of why she walks. And several of our friends and family joined us out there and we walked and it was beautiful. It was the whole experience was so uplifting and comforting and um, healing. And I knew that we needed a walk and prosper. And so that's the catalyst for creating the walk. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why we walk for the big picture, which is to raise awareness and everything, but why I walk is for the healing that comes from it. If you or someone you know is suffering with suicidal thoughts, know that you are not alone or helpless. The National Suicide Hotline is available at any time as well as the Crisis Hotline. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Kashida Kama. Prosper. November 2nd. The event will be held at Winslow Ranch on November 2nd. Now we send it over to Maggie Hale with your Game Time Sports Update. This past weekend's football festivities started on Friday. Prosper took on Rowlett and won 31-7 in an impressive season opener. There will be more on that this Friday. And hey, if you missed football game Friday night, Saturday was filled with excitement. College football also kicked off their season this weekend. According to 24-7 Sports, the most impressive teams were Boise State, Oklahoma, Georgia, Penn State, Auburn, Utah, Wisconsin, Alabama, Texas, and LSU. Even if college football isn't your thing, the most recent NFL news might interest you like I know it did go well. You've heard constant talks about Ezekiel Elliott, but after much back and forth, the talks are finally over. Elliott has signed a six-year, $90 million contract with a guaranteed $50 million. This makes him the highest paid running back not only currently, but in the history of the NFL. Ezekiel Elliott will not miss any games and will start on Sunday as the Cowboys take on the Giants. For more sports like this, be sure to tune in every day for your Sports of the Week. Now let's take a look at the meeting schedule. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Madison Wells. And I'm Jordan Ramsey. Live long and prosper.